Hey guys, and welcome back to more The Suffering. When we last left off, we were trying to make our way. Alright, let's just <clears throat> forget about that for a minute. Okay. Now, I can't remember where exactly we got to. Ooh. I mean, I remember what we were doing. I just don't remember which exact door is going to lead to progress. So, I'm guessing the one outside with all the strange creepy girls is probably the way we're supposed to be going. Oh, hello. Bloody hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, very droll. Um, so we need to go that way. I guess that's the way we came up from. Like I say, forgive me, uh, it's been a few days. So I can't <laughs> remember which door we came in through. Uh, I'm guessing it's that one. Alright, let's have a little peek upstairs. See if we can't uh, find a big old on switch or something. Wasn't there a crank that we had to manipulate or something? <clears throat> Yeah, I'm working on it, friendo. An electrical storm, eh? An electrical storm, eh? Well, I don't. Uh, are we doing the Resident Evil thing? Yep. Where there's loads of like weird metal blockages. Oh, I see. They're like, it's like claw hands. I gotcha. So do we have anything out here? Nope. I guess not. Alright, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're on it. We're on it. Okay. Still not working. Why? Uh, are we missing something? I'm guessing. I'm guessing there's some kind of bullshit. Ah. Some kind of bullshit that we need to fiddle with. Yep. You can keep saying I'm the one. I didn't know what to do. I was so confused. Uh huh. I still did what, dude? Murdered you? I'm sorry, that was a little while ago now. And I didn't even remember doing it, so... You know. Alright. Okay, so we can come up here, but there doesn't appear to be an awful lot of... ...reason for us to do so. Unless we need to, like, find a bulb... ...or there's something missing. Alright, maybe. Okay, so let's go... I was going to say go have a fiddle around with those girls, but actually that sounds really fucking bad. So let's go, I guess, shoot at those girls. Which, uh, given the context, sounds a bit better. I say a bit, because, you know, shooting at little girls is, uh, well, more of an American thing, but I suppose we can indulge. Uh... Oh, so what's this? Eh, not sure. Okay. Let's go face the music. Oh, hello. Nice. Can we? Yeah, we can't fiddle with that. Alright. I was going to say, the door's not opening. What bullshit is this? Alright, girls. Uh... What's going on? Oh, they're all coming towards me. That's probably bad. Oh. Oh, hello. Well, you know what? Uh, that does not appear to be super effective. Oh, there's people out here. 
Right, come on, buddy. Killer! There we go. Um, whoa, Jesus. Alright, this is getting worse. This is getting way worse. Infernia. God damn it, what are the chances? I survived ten hours out here in this pit of hell, and I had to run into you? Uh, the scum who killed his own wife and children? Well, hang on, we Why don't you know that. Huh? Why you do it? You going to kill me too? Come on, it may kill me, I dare you! Uh, yeah, maybe later. So it turns out you don't have the cojones to kill me when you have the chance. Mm. You fucking inmate. Go to hell, I am done with you. Oh, fuck off then. Yeah, well, he might shoot me in the back, but my health bar would dictate that I would then have enough time to turn around and uh, make his head disappear, you see? Um, okay. So anyway, Infernia. New enemies. So we've seen those girls from afar. Uh, quite a lot, actually. So I guess we now kind of know what they are. Inferno. Inferno. From what I have witnessed, this manifestation of evil appears to have two distinct forms. The first, a young girl in Puritan dress, perhaps 13 years of age. This transforms into an altogether more disturbing flaming creature. Both clutch a small handmade doll. To my mind, there is no doubt that these creatures are tied to the three young girls who made witchcraft accusations in the late 1600s and led to the incendiary death of 11 innocents. Damn. 13, huh? Alright. Um, okay. Well, you know, it doesn't matter how old the demon is. Shotgun therapy does seem to be sufficient. Uh, where has our pendeco of a friend gone? I assume that's correct verbiage. Um, Alright, so we can go out this way. We don't really need our light on, do we? Uh, oh, there he is. I guess that's the way to go. Yeah, I don't talk foreign. Hi right there, friend. Why do you follow me, mate? Who are you fooling? You hate me as much as I hate you. All you inmates think CEOs are evil, but we are prisoners in Abbott as much as you. Uh -huh. You ever think of that? Well, I mean, technically you signed up for the job. Yeah. You know. happened, I immediately headed to town, down this road. I wanted to find Consuela and my daughter. Beautiful girls. But I got to our house, it was on fire. These fucking putos everywhere. No sign of my family. I have been looking ever since, and I will not give up. You still here, inmate? Torque. Isn't that what they call you? Well, come on then. We may hate each other, we may die anyway, but we will kill more of these putas together than alone. Well, to be fair, I don't exactly hate you, I, I just... Uh, I'm just indifferent. Um, I could care less about you, to be honest. Uh, okay. survive, and they need the lighthouse on in order to land here. We know that. But the earthquake knocked the power out. Uh -huh. We need to get the generator started again. I see. Follow me. Got ya. All right, then. Let's go get this generator started. Is that where the crank handle didn't work, by the way? <clears throat> so as long as you don't keep babbling the same five lines. Way, Ugh, over. Won't they let the dead rest? Well, I think they are the dead. We never thought they'd really do it. Uh. Really? I see. So you're admitting that you uh, had what these people killed. Them? We made them go away. Yeah, pretty, pretty bad, actually. I mean, you know, you can choose to like or dislike who you like. You know, that's free choice. But um, committing somebody to a horrendous, fiery death. Well, you yeah, know, that's that's kind of a step too far in my book. There we go. Now, let's get out of here. These dead do not sleep well. Not on Carnate. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I realize that this guy's like shooting the ash piles, so that does seem to be what you've got to do. Well, there we go. Aye. It will be done. We're kind of running out of shotgun shells, though. 
So, ah, oh, bloody hell. Not these guys. I'm... Ugh. Look out for the fire. It's going to blow. Yeah, not... I was going to say what fire, but alright. Nice to see you're concerned for my safety. I may too one day grow to like you. I wouldn't count on it, but you never know. Oh, God. That's it, buddy. Get the lead out. Oof. Oof. The frame rate is dropping. Oh, man. That's not good. Dude, take that ash pile out. Good man. Okay. He's actually pretty good. Whoa. We're out of tabs, dude. Seriously out of tabs. Okay. So those fire girls. Uh, you know what? We. Yeah, we kind of are, actually. I'll give you that. You certainly saved my ass. And I don't mind admitting it. Yeah, uh, those fire girls. Jeez, dude. They really, really hurt. Wow. But, to be fair, makes sense to finally have some kind of a challenge. Oh. Yeah, I'm on the way. Get out of here. Destroy the bodies. Uh, I don't think we have to destroy their bodies. They're not made of fire. You brought hell to this island, didn't you? Always scheming. I hear you plotting how to get us officers. Well, you've really done it this time. This inferno will kill us all. Are you happy now? Well, I mean, to be fair, I turned up and things went south pretty fast. Um, you know. So, I'm pretty sure not all of it is my fault. Maybe I awakened something on the island, I guess. Let's not rule it out. Now, do we have to... Yep, we got to decap these guys. Come on, dude. Now, you know about burning... Uh, well, the burning girls. Ooh. You know you've got to shoot the ash piles. So with these, my friend, you have to decap them. For one with such knowledge of the uh, inhabitants around here, I would have thought you would have known that. Unfortunately, decapping these ain't always the easiest thing to do. Well, yeah. I mean, apparently, I've been killing for a while. You know, uh, my family, in fact. Not sure how much I believe that, admittedly. Ooh. Um, <laughs> dude, I'm, I'm using a chicken. <laughs> you deal death like a professional. Well, you mean, uh, I know how to handle my chicken. <laughs> that's, that's true. That could be taken the wrong way. Yeah, very droll, sir. Um, now. The generator is behind that fence there, but I don't know how oh. to get in. Even if we could, those creatures can oh. jump out of that pit. I swear, inmate, it is if that hole leads straight to hell. Well, I mean, maybe it does. Maybe that's the rub. Um, not really sure. Yeah, you keep a you keep a lid on those guys. I'll uh, come up here, see if there's um. Yeah, pretty sure I just said that. Ooh. There we go. Ooh. Somebody went out a window. Uh. Alright. I guess we can just... Aim that there. Oh, nice. There's one here, too. Perfect. Alright, that... That works, I guess. Wasn't quite what I was thinking, but... You know, that works. Ooh. Where's this go? Apparently... Just... I was gonna say, just a quick way down. But... I mean... A very quick way down. Yeah, so we got a 
he keeps telling us to burn them to ash, even though, or destroy even the ash. But uh, we're not actually fighting those guys. She's kind of curious, but we're going to gloss over that, I guess. Nearly. T, I'm coming to visit. I want to see you and the boys. I've got good news. Things are going well here. And I, I've got a proposition. I think we can make it work. For once, things are going to work out. I can't wait to see the boys, and, and you too. I'll meet you at your apartment, okay? See you soon, T. Well, I guess that was her last mistake. Oh, hello. And that was your last mistake. A little bit annoying how the characters seem to uh, keep talking whilst the uh, important dialogue's going on. It's uh, a little bit sloppy, that. But, you know, it's an old game, so... Well, it's very uh, kind of you. Ooh, not good. Not good. Dude, we've got a problem. Ah. Uh, I just threw a grenade and he walked into it and died. I mean, hey, everybody saw that, right? Everybody saw that. That wasn't me. Okay, intentionally killing him, alright? Don't want to hear any of that nonsense. That was just questionable decisions being made by a very questionable guard. Alright, don't want to hear any more about it. Alright, so I reloaded the checkpoint and it's worth noticing that, uh, or noting, this guy's still dead in exactly the same place. So, reloading the checkpoint uh, for some reason doesn't bring him back I mean sure I guess so we're gonna have to list, uh, live with our failures I guess which is problematic because that means we've got to fight this little bitch now and I'm not oh god there's two of them there's always two of them isn't there is that oh good lord good lord oh, I'm stuck Excellent. You know what? Sorry, like chickens. Yeah, you don't like that, do ya? There we go. That works. Kind of. Oof. Oh. All right. Definitely could have been better. But, given the situation, I think we handle ourselves okay. So these girls that are on fire. Yeah, these are pretty rough, actually. Well, that's a lot of TNT, uh, to be honest. It's definitely a lot of TNT to be right next to a load of fire. You know, just saying. Right, let's have a little look at our picture that we have here. Yeah, looks fine. I don't like the way that's situated in the uh, inventory, the way it is in our weapon-like inventory. Not a fan of that. Anyway, so that's all now back on. Sorry, friend. Um, you know, shame you had to die the way that you did. Uh, can't help but feel a little bit responsible, I suppose. Uh, this way, I think. Back through the woods. Hopefully back through the woods. Ah, yes. The burning car that we passed earlier. Now, I'm guessing somehow turning that on is going to allow us to engage the crank. Uh, I mean, I'm not really sure what logic that makes, but let's roll with it. As long as those fire girls stay away from us. We should be in somewhat good spirits. Oh, hello. I thought I could hear something. It's you, you sneaky little bastard. Come on. Let's be having you. 
Ah, there we go. Ah, oh, you little turd. You guys are a little bit too nippy for me. Come on. There we go. That's what you get. That's what you get for messing with the talkster. Right. Um. Now, hopefully... Still some goodies in here that we can harvest up. Yep. What I would like... Some health. Yeah, don't worry about it. We're, we're, we're working on it. We are working on it. Um, right. Any other goodies? Must have been a few things up here that we left behind. Yeah, 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 we know. Hey, there we go. That works, I guess. Can we stop that now? Yeah, I guess so. Right, let's have a little look up here, shall we? Excellent. I see. We have done the Lord's work here today. It's a shame that our guard friend... Sadly, could not witness this majestic moment, but, you know. I'm sure we'll light a candle for him one day, somewhere. Now we have to head towards the pier, I suppose. Alright, on the way to Dock, going. I like Dock. Dock is my favourite. I like this little cabin as well. It's nice and it's really cozy. Yeah? Now I'm guessing we're not going to have like a super happy ending here. I just can't seem to picture it. To be honest. Oh, it's all quiet this way. At least I hope this is the way to the dock. Pretty sure that's what that sign said. My memory is, well, is what it is. So, I guess we're going to be bumping into that gassy fella. Yep, pier. Makes sense, pier. Usually find a dock around a pier, I suppose. That's my logic. But then I don't need to be too smart, because I've got a gun. Checkpoint, huh? Lighthouse. Well, we don't need the lighthouse. Uh, dock facility. Hey! Hey, dude. You gonna help me out here? It's not just Abbott. This whole island. It's a cesspool of human atrocity. Uh huh. People come here. They do things maybe they wouldn't normally do. Evil fucking shit. But you, you're different. You're the wild card in the deck. But you set me free. I never forget a death. Won't you? Now go on. Find out what kind of man you are. Uh alright. I mean this guy seems to be on the level. Apart from the fact that he murdered his wife. Um you know. Pretty pretty horrific, really, when you think about it. Uh Apart from that, he seems to be alright. He's helping us out. So the three sp Ooh, hello. Oh no. Hey! It's one of our sons. Alright there. Oh no, here we go. Yep. That was never gonna go well, was it? At least he's not burning alive. So, you know, there's that. Can you Please die. Please, thank. Right. Come on, get those guns loaded. These are the only enemies in the game that make me a little bit... A little bit on edge. And they are actually pretty rough. For good reason. 
So, I guess we're like almost at the end now. Which is, ah, if we're, are we almost at the end now? I guess so. Unless it pulls one of them bullshitty things where, like, you know, you try to escape, but <gasps> you can't escape. And then you have to go through a whole nother load of, oh, oh, hello. A whole nother load of shit to get through before you can escape. All right. Let's keep working over Mr. Guns over here. There we are. Get out of here. Right, who else have we got? Come on, you. You underground sack of shit. No, I wasn't really talking to you, but I'll indulge you. Now, how are we going? Look, dude, are you going to pop up or not? I mean, seriously. King of suspense over there. Jesus. Come on, where are you? Hey, there you are. Ah, uh, not you. Yeah, that's really not going to save you, dude. I'm just saying. Now, where's... Oh, God, you bitch slapped me. Like a bitch. Ironically enough. Is that irony? It's not that ironic, really, is it? Uh, where are you? There you are. I wouldn't mind those as much if you could blow them out of the ground. But you literally just gotta. Oh, there's another one. You literally just gotta wait around for them to jump up. Which admitted. What? What? Did he fake me out? You sneaky son of a bitch. Come on. While we're young. Ugh, Jesus. I mean, I guess the guards weren't exact. Really? Weren't really in too much danger from you, were they? Okay. Game is being generous. But then this game's always generous. Like, the amount of uh, equipment it gives you is just ludicrous. Absolutely ludicrous. There you go. Have one of them. Want one too? Of course you do. Ah, oh, hi. Didn't see you pop up. And we're dead. <sighs> Apparently, you could just walk off, walk off the edge. <sighs> God damn it! You know what? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna end it here, guys. Um, I'm getting extreme end of game vibes here. So we're going to cut this one off, and then when we come back, I guess, question mark, we're going to finish the game. Uh, maybe one, maybe a couple more videos left, we'll see. So, till then, thanks for watching.